Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite Steam games. So, I actually have like a fairly large Steam library, and uh, picking some of my favorites is a little bit on the difficult side. It kind of rotates in and out, but um, at the time of this making this video, these are actually some of my favorites within my Steam library. Um, like I said, it's never a permanent list, but these are some games that I thought uh, would be really good to just bring your attention to. Um, so first up, we have Battle Chasers, released by THQ Nordic in 2017. Battle Chasers is a very unconventional uh, RPG, um, you know, where you've, you've got the turn timers and all this other stuff. So it reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy VI a lot, um, but your party comp composition is very unconventional. Um, you only get three party members in this game, and if I'm remembering right, and that leads to some very unconventional uh, team ups where um, you have to bring in people like maybe more than one person heals. Uh, maybe uh, you walk in and you don't have one, someone who's a dedicated tank or something like that. Uh, it's it's very gritty and grimy, um, a little bit of a of like kind of dark. Um, moving around on the map is a lot of fun because it's kind of just a point to point system. Um, you know they they spent a lot of time building this game and it's actually a continuation of a comic book series, but it's it's very good. Um, I think you can pick up the game for fairly cheap by now. Uh, like 20 bucks or something. It's, it's even on the Nintendo Switch. Um, it's uh, it's pretty much everywhere, and it's it's a decent game. Um, you know, just pick it up, try it out. Uh, so next up is one of my current favorite shmups, which is Crimson Clover World Ignition. That's uh, by Gacia Game. I don't know. I, I, I probably just murdered the name. Uh, it was released in 2014. It is a... Uh, it's a bullet hell shmup. Uh, pretty much plain and simple, but it's also a score attack one, where you're you're picking up all of the things that generate points and stuff like that, and you can build meters and stuff like that, and the player is just as overpowered as the rest of the game. And I love that. I love the feeling of, like, this epic, titanic-style battle. Of, like, you know, they've got massive power, and you've got massive power. It's just clashing all the time. And uh, it just, it never lets up. Now, another game that's a schmuck that uh, is just completely in the opposite uh, spectrum, on the opposite end of the spectrum, is Enemy Mine. Uh, it's released 2014 by uh, Schnell, S-H-E-L-L, uh, Shell, I don't know, whatever. This game is great because it starves you, it starves you for ammunition, it starves, I know, a schmup that actually counts ammunition. Uh, it starves you for life. It starves you for everything because, um, but I mean, like the only thing it doesn't starve you for is, is choices. You get an enormous amount of choices. You can, uh, th so the main mechanic is you can jump from one ship to another. And when you do that, you, you literally become that ship. And if you damaged it before you jumped to it, you keep that damage if you if you let it shoot almost every bullet it had guess what you're limited on the ammo that it has too so uh you you constantly possess new ships and stuff and um it's a great mechanic and it makes for something that's very fun uh it it puts a certain amount of pressure on the player of like 
I have a lot of damage on me and I'm about to die, but you know, I, I hate playing as this particular ship, but it's the only thing here, so you jump to it anyways. Really a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to keep rolling with the theme of shmups, which is uh, Revolver 360, sorry, Revolver 360 Reactor, released 2014 by Playism. Uh, this is another really kind of odd mechanic style shmup where um, you can rotate the field of view and that changes like what an enemies can you can hit and what enemies can hit you. So you can see this huge wave of bullets or this huge wave that's going to hit you and you can't avoid it at all, but you rotate the, the camera 90 degrees and now that huge wave becomes really flat and you can get around it easy. And just, you know, this can affect the way that you path through the game in multiple ways. All this other stuff is really a lot of fun. It's very innovative, and I absolutely love it to death. So, uh, another very non-standard game is Savant Ascent. Uh, it's released 2013 by D-Pad Studio. Um, oh man, how do, how do I even describe this game? Uh, it is this wonderful music game where you're a character that jumps between three platforms trying to avoid enemies that are trying to slam into you and stuff all while shooting you. So while I'm guessing it's a platformer, but it's a shooter platformer where you're dodging enemies all the time. Like I said, really hard to try to like fit this into some sort of weird description. Um, you just have to play it. You know, if, if you if you love like you know, the dub style beats and stuff like that, you're gonna love this game. Um, it's a lot of fun, really a lot of fun to play, very difficult to master the game. I haven't even beat it yet, uh, but I just, I go through and I play it, play the music and have fun defeating all the enemies and seeing how far I get. You know, I'm not, I'm not like seriously devoting a huge amount of time to beating the game, but you know, I would like to beat it eventually. So we'll, we'll hit back on shmups. So the next shmup I'm going to talk about is Super Galaxy Squadron EX Turbo. <laughs> I know, I know. So it was released in 2017 by uh, New Blood. What is that? I'm trying to read my notes here. Um, New Blood Interactive. So this game is very much a throwback to the 16-bit style era. Uh, you know, lots of build-up, lots of power-ups, lots of, you know, build this meter to do this action over here. A um, little bit of bullet hell, but not too much. Um, I definitely feel as powerful as the in as the waves and waves, as powerful as the waves and waves of enemies that are coming towards me. And that's great. I, I love an even playing field kind of feel that it gives me, and it's just great. I love it to death. Uh, again, another game you probably pick up for fairly cheap um, and just run with it. And finally, we're going to end this up with Armello. Um, I've got a lot of hours in Armello. Uh, I think, like, to date, I have over 300 hours in Armello. Uh, I've talked about it in, in previous uh, episodes where it's a board game where it's not only is it you versus the other other four, I'm sorry, other three players, but you're you're also trying to survive the environment that's going on, and then you're surviving the banes that are trying to kill you, and then you're trying to survive the king that's trying to kill you, all while trying to reach the goal of becoming the next king of Armello, and it's really well put together. There are multiple paths to victory, and that's just one of my favorite things to happen in any kind of bo normal board game but Armello is a little too complicated to become just a board game that's why they put it on a, on Steam and it's also on multiple other platforms as well 
but it's a great game. It's definitely at least checking out and taking a look at it if you're into board games at all. And, um, you know, again, I just, I can't say enough about this game. It's great. You should definitely check it out. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.